Hi there, folks. My camera's being moved by uh, something that requires the touchins. So on today's episode, I wanted to talk a little bit about how I look at finances. Um, I'm trying to do like a variety of, of videos on here. I'm trying not to do all of one type at one time. Um, so this is going to be more of a, the like single income family kind of a thing, but this is more just finances. Cat, <sighs> I love you, but you're moving the camera. So I look at dollars on everything. And the reason I do that is I've always heard the expression, if you watch your pennies, the dollars will watch themselves. And I do believe in that. Uh, just like, for example, shopping at Aldi for bread, because it's like, I think it's like 79 cents a loaf. We're going to Walmart, the same loaf could be $1.50 or $2. Even if you don't love the Aldi bread, <clears throat> there's so many ways to make bread better. You know, cinnamon sugar, um, if you're doing toast, um, add more mayonnaise if you like mayonnaise on a bologna sandwich or ketchup or whatever your condiment of choice is you know um, different things like that hopefully this wind is not so terrible that you guys can't hear me um, but i look at the dollars on everything because if it doesn't financially make sense i don't want to do it so for example one thing that i have been thinking about is you see that big red tractor in the back i bought that a couple years back for four thousand dollars it needs some some work uh, it runs and drives and moves, but it, it's not like farm worthy. It's not able to really work anything. Um, but I bought that because years ago I was going to start doing my own hay and I still might. However, hay does not necessarily pencil out if you're going to look at expenditures versus income. Um, and the reason I say that is, is my neighbor just sold me round bales from the neighbor's field over there for $40 a bale. Uh, that took him an hour's worth of work, let's just say, to mow it and another hour to rake Ted and bale it because the baling goes pretty quick. I bought the bales because I'm not going to find anything that close to home, that cheap, or that good a quality around bales. In a previous video, I showed that I can't even stick a, a, a hand into the core of the round bale. A buddy of mine taught me that that's how you're supposed to tell if it's a good round bale or not, is if you could stick your hand in the core. Well, I can't. So it's a very good round bale. Um, and I know there's other things to look at, like quality and such, and you could do tests and all of that. Uh, but it, it's it's all about the dollar. And, and you know, some folks will say, well, you can't always worry about money. Mm, you kind of have to, because... Here's the thing, like I had a guy years ago that said, well, if you want a welder, just buy a welder. Yeah, but if I just wanted stuff and bought stuff, then I'd have no money and I couldn't buy stuff I wanted because I'd have no money to buy stuff with. Like it's a vicious cycle. If I have $500, but I spend it, then I can't buy something else with that same $500, you know? And, and that's why I look at it with the farm. Like we're trying to be as lean as possible because when you budget, there's two ways to have money spend less or make more if i can spend less money on farm stuff farm tractors equipment uh time diesel fuel all of that stuff maintenance if i can spend less there i don't have to make as much you know so like for example uh this year i thought about putting fertilizer on my uh hay field up there the the guy who was gonna do it told me it was gonna be seven hundred dollars um, for the seven acres, so like let's say $100 an acre. Well, let's do the math on that and let's try and figure out how many round bales that is. So if I divide 700 by 40, I get 17 and a half. So that is 17 and a half round bales. So that means that I would have had to have made from my field um, anything over 17 and a half round bales before I even broke even. That's not including making money or making money if you really want to look at it like that. Because I got 16 round bales out of that seven acres without putting any fertilizer on at all. So would that $700 have netted me a total of 33 and a half round bales? Is that what it would have done? I don't think so. I don't think it would have doubled my, my hay production. Um, but I could take that $700 and I could buy... 17 and a half round bales at $40 a piece and then I'd be able I'd be up or I'd have the exact same cost but I'd have 33 and a half round bales or the other way is is I could 
try and have 35 and a half, 33 and a half round bales. I'm sorry. So I look at everything like that. If fertilizer is not going to make me the back, the back the same amount of money, I will not use it. If that means that my neighbor's doing 40 bales for their seven acres and I'm only doing 20, but their fertilizer cost is $1,500, they can have that $1,500 cost. I will buy round bales from them and I will make out like a bandit. Everything I do, look, I look at the money. You know, that's how I have money. That's how we're going to be able to afford to do a single income family because we're going to save money with stuff like that. We're going to keep old farm tractors like that fix them up so instead of selling them again for four thousand dollars maybe we can get six or eight thousand out of it you know maybe i can't get that out of it at all and i turn that into something else maybe a pulling tractor you know spend some money i don't know but there's things like that that i'd really like to like to get more in depth with to actually show and explain why i don't want to fertilize my hay field you know, my neighbors all think I'm crazy because I don't want to fertilize the hay field. Yet, in the previous video I talked about it, I got more off of second cutting than their fertilizer got off of second cutting. So, who's really the one behind here? Sure doesn't seem like me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.